repeat for my poor orphan boy. Mass man sets building fire. 20 people perish in the blaze. Read all about in today's headline. You want to buy a pink? Only pennies. Does that mean a beach you selling today? Nah, I got none left. Sold them all hours ago. Actually, I had enough time to grab some food. Good, I'm famished. What's famished? It means starving. Read it in the papes. Hey, you know Crutchy? Yeah, the cripple. So, I says, who's that? Who are you? Haven't seen you around, you new here? Who are you? I'm Bridge, and this is my brother Connor. We's newsies. We sell the papes. Now, who are you? I'm not in the habit of speaking to strangers. Well, nice to meet you, not in the habit, but I'd like to warn you that any cops to find a pretty little goyo like yourself out here will teach you to an orphanage. You hungry? Hey, you should come with us. We won't hurt you. Plus, we got some food. It's nice and warm. We got a place to sleep, but see how. Much better that dirty little hole you've been sitting in. Yeah, come on. Yeah, go. We won't hurt you. Promise. Just run here. So I got bread and cheese and a couple apples I figured the uh, shopkeeper wouldn't miss. Connor! What? They were bruised. I don't like you stealing. I don't like starving. Plus, it ain't like stealing, it's borrowing. Where'd you get that pocket watch? How about that? I found it. Whatever rich old guy lost, you could easily buy another one. Yeah, right. It's only stealing when I do it. That's because you're the boy and you look like you're 20. Nice place. Thanks. Yeah, it keeps us sheltered. Where exactly are we? It's the attic of a, a tenement somewhere. Yeah, a friend lives here. Oh, he doesn't tell the landlord about us. You know this whole orphan, poor orphan boy, <laughs> buy a paper is really working on us. Hey, I had that much money, but I bought us food. Yeah, who cares? Speaking of which, there's yours. Uh, Let's see. I got a little bit hungry on the way over. This I'm would be yours. A bit hungry. Yeah, this would be yours, but you don't approve of my stealing. No, so... I don't, but as you said, it's borrowing. Fair point, as were my words. You cold? Freezing. We got a jacket. Oh, yeah, yeah. Has a coat. Thank you. So, it's still pretty warm, actually. It's just October. Yeah, where are you from? How long have you been here? Oh, I'm from Italy. Just got off the boat a few days ago. My father's friend um, used to live in America, but there's been no work for Papa for a year, and when the friend came back, he told us of all the possibilities in America, and Papa decided we might go. My uncle also used to live in America, and he taught me English. You speak it very well. Grazie. We planned on waiting for next spring, but the town was so crowded with overpopulation that there was never enough food and we were always starving. Mm, that's, and that's the life. Sickness spread so fast that Mama died before we even knew what was happening. And about a week after, Papa told me to get all my stuff, what little stuff I had, and we came to America on the next boat. But the night we got here, Papa and all of our belongings disappeared. Yeah. So I don't know what I can do for work. Hey, give me some of that cheese. You eat half of that. I have some bread. Oh, yeah. You can become a newsie. If you need work. Yeah, but but I'm a girl. So am I. <laughs> then why are you dressed like that? Uh, makes life easier on the streets. But you oh, said geez. your name was Bridge. My name's Bridget, but Bridge makes more sense when I looks like this. Well, why'd you even pick the name Bridge? It's not really a name. Well, you see, lots of us newsies come from bad backgrounds. Lots of runaways from abusive families. So, you know, when the law comes looking for us, it's easier to say a name that ain't really ours than say our real name, because then we'd, you know, get taken. And, you know, you don't want to lie to the police. That would be terrible. So, yeah, just come on a bus. 
You don't want to be in the orphanages. The orphanages yeah. are hell. And you know, you met my brother Connor. And then me ma died when I was born. But my dad died in a factory accident, so you don't want to go work there. We all got and, each other. Yeah, we've lived in New York our whole lives, but... Um, we have a friend. Uh, he's actually from Russia. It was a lot colder, a lot farther away. I was colder? talking... It's colder than New York. And also another thing that's colder than New York is Ireland, which is where Mom and Dad came from. You know, but there was the whole potato famine where all the crops rotted, so, you know, everyone was starving, and, well, the English landlord <laughs> kicked my right. pa and Ma out, so, you know, they had to come here. And, uh, now we're all alone. But we've been in New York our entire lives. Yeah, but as he was saying when he so rudely interrupted me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Our mate Ben. He's from Russia. It's even colder than New York. And he had to leave because his family's Jewish, and they don't like Jews up in, up in Russia. So, we got all sorts here. All welcome when it comes to newsies. So, tell me about being a newsie. Basically, we buy papers. We buy papers at 60 cents per hundred from the people who write them. And then we sell them at a profit. A couple years ago, we could buy them for 50 cents per hundred. Yeah, but this summer, this summer, they were, like all the bosses, they were like, you know, we want to be rich. So this summer, they just decided to up the price for us. It's so rude. Like, we barely live in it as it is. So we unionized. We made a union and we had a strike. And they were stuck. Did no one deliver the papers? They had to, you know, agree to our terms. Yeah, and at one point, we like crossed the entirety of the Brooklyn Bridge. Nobody could get past. Yeah, they, they had to deal with us. That's where I got this black eye. Y'all are living a pretty good life. Yeah, oh. it's great. And you're a fine life. Yeah. But in the end, we won the strike. They'll buy back the papes, you know? The price is still 60 cents for, 10, for 100, but uh, we can buy a lot and sell them back and not take a loss. So, all in all, great strike. Yeah, and orphanages are the worst, and factories are even worse because you're stuck in an awful building. Most people there die when they're like 20. And you got overseers. And you're a newsie, you're your own boss. Yeah. You tell you what to do. And under the open skies, it's a good job, good life. And we all like a family. Yeah, we all take care of ourselves. You know, when one of us gets sick, we all help. So, what do you say? Do you want to be a newsie? Well, well, sure. Oh, well, yeah. Good. You we'll can go to... start tomorrow. Yeah, hide your hair. I'll get you some trousers, too. Yeah, I have a pair of his left over. They don't fit him anymore. <laughs> they might not fit you. Let's hope.